okay dear students let us see what is there in this question an interference pattern with minima of zero intensity is observed between light waves what must be true about the frequency and the amplitude of the light waves okay dear students so first of all as per the topic of interference is concerned i must tell you that there is a sine qua non condition that has to be satisfied by the light waves which are interfering to create the interference and what is that condition that both of these lights should be coherent they should have the same exactly same frequency if there is a difference of the frequency the interference does not happen so there is a condition that these light sources must be coherent so the frequency one should be equal to the frequency two so we are sure about the frequency now what about the second part now we're talking about the minima of uh, the resultant intensity so what is the formula for the intensity the formula for intensity is this i1 i2 and this is cos phi where phi is the phase difference between two waves which are interfering i1 is the intensity of the first wave i2 is the intensity of the second wave. now we want to find the minimum value of this how can you create a minima here well if we are able to subtract it so we put this condition that cos phi is equal to minus 1 because we want it to minimize so it will come out to be i1 plus i2 minus twice of square root of i1 i2 which in turn can be written as root of i1 minus root of i2 whole square can i write this thing as this so this is the formulation for the minimum intensity so at this point i am giving you um, another piece of information that maximum intensity will be given by this so you can check it from your book why and how okay so this is the minimum now they are saying that the minimum intensity is coming out to be equal to zero how is that possible only if i1 is equal to i2 you can have zero minimum intensity so that is why even the amplitudes have to be same now why the amplitude why they have not written intensity here so intensity will be taken as k another constant into i square so we all know that intensity of wave is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude and k is a constant value which is constant for both of the waves and so we have to say that i1 will be directly proportional to a1 so a1 will also be equal to a2 so with this our answer for this question will be c ladies and gentlemen this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel and also i have created another telegram channel please try to connect with me on my telegram channel also that's very important all the best